Hello, I am Dr. Sanjay Gupta. I am a senior physician, consultant in internal medicine and diabetology. And I am practicing in Primer Diagnostics at Sajapura Road, Bangalore. I have been practicing in Bangalore for the last 10 years and I have a large expanse of experience of 25 years. So we are more prone for bone loss as we grow older. We know statistically has given us enough data where we know that postmenopausal ladies who may be having lack of estrogen, they are more prone for bone loss or rather calcium loss from the bones and hence bone loss as a bone architecture. The other category of individuals are elderly males. Of course, there may be a little bit delayed setting of bone loss in elderly males, whereas in females it can be earlier in the age. But eventually we know and we should be aware that if we pick this early diagnosis of bone loss and also decide to find out the intensity of bone loss by doing certain tests like bone mineral density, calcium, vitamin D levels, parathormon levels, and there are so many other levels which can directly indirectly tell you about the bone loss. The whole point here is that we have to catch this diagnosis early in age so that we can prevent fractures. We know for sure that weaker bone is more prone for fractures. And statistically has proven even in health economics, if you see, if you prevent fractures by treating and controlling the bone density or the bone loss, you may have also prevented a lot of expenditure and a lot of untoward and unwanted agony to the patient and the relatives by preventing fractures. If you just think about a fracture, how much of complication it can cause and how much of morbidity and handicappedness it will cause to the patient and to the family members. So coming back to the point bone loss, we can do a bone mineral density as a routine health checkup for geriatric and elderly patients, postmenopausal ladies, and try to track it in case we are finding there is a prediction of a bone loss and a prediction of a fracture. We can think about this when these age groups come to you for weakness, profound weakness, and also aches and pains in the body. Other than the metabolic parameters, you should think about bone loss in such patients. Look at the calcium levels, vitamin D levels, treat them accordingly. Don't cause hypervitaminosis. And there are many other medicines which can actually help you to push calcium inside the bones.